Today on Craft D&D, we're going to make walls for your battle map. I actually make my walls out of vinyl floor tiling. And actually, my battle maps are usually made out of vinyl floor tiling as well. Quick to work with. You don't really have to do a whole lot of customization. You see something you like, you can grab it. And there's stone patterns. There's wood patterns. There's patterns that will remind you of trees and swamps. And just any of that uh, very cheap vinyl floor tiling that you'll find at uh, various hardware stores. Oftentimes, if you check discounts or clearances, you can get it for like 70 cents for like a square foot of it. Or, you know, maybe a couple of bucks for like an 18 by 18 inch section of it, which really is all you need for a battle map. So for like $2, you can get all kinds of different types and styles of battle maps. Now to make the tiles, you're just going to need a piece of tile. They're self-adhesive, so you don't need any extra glue. You do need some shelf liner uh, to stick to the back of the tile. I found the shelf liner works the best because then it just keeps it from moving around on the gaming table. And then your basic ruler, scissors, knife. And that's about it. So I start the process by just uh, first measuring and then, of course, cutting the tiles. I'll measure three inches, and then I'll cut the a 12-inch tile into four three-inch strips. Once I have everything measured, I just score it a couple times, lightly score it, and then just snap the tile in two. And it's very easy to cut and break these tiles. You just see here I have a straight edge. Put my straight edge down. You could use a regular ruler. You could use a square like I have here. It doesn't really matter. Take your knife and just score straight down in a nice straight line. And then once you got that a couple of times, you don't have to like go real deep or press super hard. Just get a nice indentation in there. And then uh, go ahead and hold it with your fingers and your thumb and just kind of press and it will break uh, right along that line. You're pushing away from the line. So all your fingers are on the bottom pushing upwards and your finger, your thumbs are basically just there to kind of keep you from dropping the thing. So very easy to break to break them in half. Once you do it a few times, you'll just it'll be just be simple for you. And then of course if there's paper or something on the back, just go ahead and cut that with your knife. Uh, just bend it up and just slice it really quick with your knife. And once you have your strips cut, uh, you just need to use one of them and go ahead and take your ruler, measure out two inch sections. Uh, as you can see here, I laid the, the ruler right along the long way. So it's a 12 inch tile. I laid the ruler 12 inches along it. And then I'm make, putting a mark at two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, and 10 inches. Once you have all your marks made, then it's time to cut those two inch sections out. Uh, same as you did before, uh, with the straight edge of the knife, score it a couple of times, and then just kind of push up. It's a little bit more tricky to get your fingers in there just right, but uh, with a little bit of manipulation and practice, it'll be no problem to uh, go ahead and do that. You might notice here, I'm going to go ahead and score all of them first before I break them. That's just because it's easier for me. You could score it and then break it, or the score it all and then break them once a section at a time. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Personal preference. So now I just take one of my tile pieces that I've cut out, and along that two inch side of it, I'll take my ruler, and on the tile side, I'll go ahead and make a small mark at the one inch line. So cut to uh, cut it in half, or to mark where that middle is. And then I flip it over, and I'll make a mark at the half inch, and the one and a half inch marks, because I'll also be scoring those two sections on the back side. So that's why it's important that those marks are on the back side. The tile side will make a score mark uh, along the middle of it, and on the back side will make that score mark at the half inch and the one and a half inch spots. And then here I'm just going ahead and make those cuts. Uh, it's just scoring it, not cutting it all the way through, You're just scoring it like before, a couple of uh, slices down with uh, medium pressure. You're not wanting to go super deep. So you want to do both sides. So you want to cut that one on the one inch on the tile side and then go ahead and score them on the um, half inch and the one and a half inch on the uh, back side of it. But don't cut all the way through. Once again, you're just scoring. Okay, and then we're really just ready to go ahead and make our wall. Uh, it's a very simple process. We're going to go ahead and uh, make all of our snaps first on both the tile side and the paper side. And once we've uh, got a little snap into each of them so that they're all kind of floppy, and after that, we'll be ready to fold the whole thing together.
as you can see here, I was able to make all those little snaps. I'm just kind of pointing out uh, the sex, the uh, sides there. Now you'll need some shelf liner material, uh, obviously enough to cover the base of it, about three inches by one inch. Uh, make a little bit extra, it's fine, and then you'll just trim it up. It uh, cuts real easy. And I got mine at the dollar store. I can get uh, five feet of it. It's five by one foot, and it's like a dollar, so it's super cheap material. Now we can just go ahead and fold the whole thing up. Go ahead and peel the center section of paper off the bottom. Uh, make sure you leave the two edge sections intact for now, otherwise you'll stick the whole thing together and kind of spoil it. Once you have that center section torn from the bottom, just go ahead and fold it together. Um, if it does happen to break or come apart, uh, go ahead and line them up, and then you can just kind of sn snap them together. If you do forget to uh, snap that half inch in the one and, and a half inch spots, you can sometimes do it after the fact. I've done it after the fact because I've gotten ahead of myself and forgotten, but it's kind of a pain. So make sure those are snapped before you do go ahead and peel that centerpiece and fold that over. And after you do that, obviously, you just go ahead and peel the two edge pieces, the, pa the paper off of those, making sure they don't come into contact with each other, and then just base it right down onto that shelf liner. Um, no real trick to it, just try to make it smooth as you set it down onto it. And then just go ahead and take your scissors, do any trim up that you need to do to make things fit nicely together. And obviously you can kind of streamline it. You don't have to make them one at a time. I usually make them in batches, like at least a whole strip at a time. So I'll get six at a time. Um, you can get 24 of them out of a 12 by 12 inch tile. So you can make quite a few walls. So you can have quite a variety of wall sections. You can just grab and kind of mix into whatever your uh, battle map might look like. It's uh, very quick, very efficient, and very easy to make tons and tons of walls for your battle maps, your um, or whatever other type of uh, terrain you might be using. If you're using a diorama or just a small section, um, whatever you, that you happen to be using, it uh, all works really well. And here I'm just kind of arranging them real quick for you. You can kind of see how you might just put them together real quick. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Well, thanks for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all future videos.